What you'll see in this video is a reminder of how the ACC Foundation supports students in reaching their academic goals. I had a very humbling experience and I went to one of my professors one day and told her, I was like, you know, Miss Higer, I really don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I, here I am, my unemployment has stopped and my funding is, you know, I'm just at wit's end. And immediately she told me, she said, you know, don't worry, Randall, uh, we'll make a way. Um, and then I learned about Alamance Community College Foundation. I learned that they had emergency um, assistance funding. Um, it was with that funding that enabled me to be able to continue my educational journey that I had fought for for so long and the battles that I had suffered throughout the process of my educational journey. You heard from our alumni, Randall, about how the emergency assistance program was able to help him in his time of need. The foundation offers emergency distress funds. These are funds that we use to help students that are experiencing a temporary hardship. Maybe they can't pay rent for the month. Maybe their car is in the shop and they need that to get to school. Maybe they have a daycare bill that needs to be paid, a utility bill that needs to be paid. As long as a student is within good standing of the college, they're meeting a GPA requirement of a 2.5 or higher, a completion rate of 75% or higher, and they're a student in good standing, they can apply for the Emergency Distress Fund. To do so, a student must be referred by a faculty member, a full-time faculty member. They come down to the financial aid office and fill out the emergency distress form. Then the director of financial aid will meet with the student to assess their need and determine if they are eligible for the program. At that time, we'll also give a student a handout of other agencies that can provide assistance in case we are unable to do so. If a student is approved for the emergency distress fund, the foundation will then step in and make a payment to the third party, the utility company, the auto repair shop, the daycare provider, the landlord. A check will never be cut to the student themselves. The check will always go to the third party to cover those funds. Once a student has received assistance from the Emergency Distress Fund, they are then asked to write a thank you card to submit to the donor who helped to provide that assistance to pay that bill. Hi, I'm Shakita Rogers and I am an alumni of Alamance Community College. I am also a new hire at Alamance Community College and I work in the Student Development Department. While at Alamance Community College, I was a recipient of the Foundation Scholarship Program. Now that I'm an employee, I see all the things that the Foundation Office does for faculty and staff. The Foundation Office provides me with a mentor that will help me transition into my new role in the Student Development Office. I can give back to the Foundation Office that helped me to help students in the future continue their education. Well, I was thinking today about ACC and what all ACC has done for us, and when you think of that, you can't help but think of the foundation and everything that they did for us. They were so good, we got money for summer school. Both of us did that. I had to have the summer school class as part of the curriculum. And you're going to get it this summer, we think, as well. Well, uh, considering I have to have it for my curriculum again this summer, I'm really hoping that they come through for me again, and I'm sure they will. Well, Pell Grants haven't covered summer schools now for two years, and if it hadn't been for uh, the foundation, we would not have been able to come to summer school at all, and neither I would not have transferred to Carolina where I'm at now, um, hoping to come back here and teach in two more years after I get that graduate degree. What about I'm part of the C-STEPS program, which is the transfer program to Chapel Hill, and we get a stipend from the foundation. And remember last winter when it was so cold? Yeah, propane. Propane. They helped us get propane in the gas tank so that we um, didn't go cold, which we would have done. And Don't forget work study. You can't forget that. We both worked there together. Yeah, we did. In the library. What a wonderful place to work. 
and the foundation pays uh, part of that expense as well so that we are able to work. They've certainly come to our rescue more times than not. You may be wondering after hearing Karen and James talk about all of the assistance they receive from the foundation, how does a student apply for that assistance? First, a student must fill out a FAFSA application. The FAFSA is the financial aid application that the financial aid office uses to determine what types of financial aid to offer a student. If a student is ineligible for grant money, that's where the scholarship comes in. The foundation will step in to cover a student's expenses with scholarships. In order to apply for a scholarship, a student must complete the application and turn it in in a timely manner. The foundation requires minimums to be maintained by their scholarship recipients. These minimums are actually higher than what we expect from Pell Grant students. In order to keep a foundation scholarship, you have to maintain a GPA of a 2.5 or higher and a completion rate of 75% or higher. We also watch students to make sure that they are graduating in a timely manner. If you'll remember, during the fall 2012 semester, tuition increased, and it has increased over 75% over the past five years. Pell Grant requirements have reduced the number of students eligible for Pell Grants, requiring more of the ACC Foundation. ACC Foundation supported more than 800 students with tuition and or distress funds. You may not realize that 95% of donor support to the ACC Foundation goes to designated programs. In the 2012-2013 school year, 100% of students who applied for scholarships and met the requirements were supported thanks to donors like you.